That it is, Morgan. That it is. Nice spot, though. Fuck. Okay, the neighbors I'm selling dope. Selling dope. This guy's at it again, huh? Let the river run. <clears throat> a little contradictory, don't you think? See, I, I asked for, for for a message, and he gave me the whole world, but no signal I can understand. All these, all these people, and, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. <sighs> Isn't that enough? No. It wasn't enough. What do you mean? It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so, I'm so greedy. I'm awful. Well, I suppose it helps to talk. <clears throat> Is this a carrot? Blood rock. Is this mint? Nope. Ding a ding ding, PTSD. Okay, go ahead and take a nap now. Wait, can I pick this? Ooh, naughty little upskirt shot? Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> oh yeah, preacher man. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Don't you just want to get lost under there? Underwear. <laughs> oh, are we at camp? Oh, we are. Uh. Oh. Uh. 
Hell yeah. Alright guys, we have about a half an hour to go. Half an hour. That's a quick little three hour stream and then we'll be back. John in Tennessee, go ahead, what you want to say? That shit is okay? fucking trash. Huge! Get the fuck off the airway. Oh, Big! Mr. Gunny! Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York? We are gonna go to New York. Now, no man, way! We're going to New York! South and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti. New York. Handsome girls, freedom. But first, in New York. A lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one hole. You know, if we can pick up our friend Magnifico, I'm sure he can show us a few tricks. Dude, scores anymore, Dutch? Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello, hello. Dutch, this is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too Howdy. much. Howdy! Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. How do you do, Mr. Gunny? Division posted at Fort you a Gunny Sarge, Mr. Gunny? Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without uh, hunting, why am I so we weird? Starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before. Forget me, man. Put Forget me. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come <sighs> on. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Mushrooms. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horse is on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. <laughs> Persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform school. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Fuck me. Really gotta start getting more sleep. Civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else 
Oh yeah, so I'm going to the dentist for they're gonna fix a filling or one of the fillings is kind of fucked up. I have I already have a bunch of fillings, but I've since I've been no shit I don't know. I've taken generally good decent care of my teeth uh, recently. I used to not really take care of my teeth, and then. Um, people I know's teeth started going missing, and I just started realizing, I'm like, damn, fucking life would suck if I just didn't have teeth. You know how bad it would suck if you could never eat a fucking steak or a prime rib again? I understand you could get dentures and shit, but, like, real, like, you're a real healthy teeth, nothing beats that, come on. You gotta take care of those, they're, they're a one and done deal. Like, I'm a teeth preacher. I, you just have to trust me. I, I have, I kind of stopped flossing and even this coffee's kind of ruining my teeth. Oh. I gotta, like even though I'll brush twice a day, it's like I'm almost like doing more against it than I am helping. These men, like I said, <clears throat> helpless. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait till nightfall. Uh, and they're off. Uh, we need to get that boat ashore. Uh, I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then, when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Ah. Coming, I'm coming. Don't abandon me. This is an army boat? Motherfucker. I wonder if motherfuckers actually did this shit back then. Stuck off the army and shit. I'm sure everyone... Obviously everyone's fucked around with the government, but... I guess they must have, huh? Fuck. Push! Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Ah, <sighs> fine. Aya! Now let me wear his clothes like Hitman. I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Oh! Back in a bit. Oh, no, not again. I had a bit of a good hand all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. Wait, I walked right by somebody? Oh, he's above me. I said, I, I, I figured I thought I'd check that room. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Looks like he went upstairs. We take the horses now? have a plan <clears throat> you know we could probably use the third I think I have an idea bear with me
Fuck! I won't kill anyone, I won't kill anyone, I won't kill anyone! Don't shoot him! Got it. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry. <laughs> Copy that. Come on, Arthur. And they're off. He's scuttling it? What is wrong with you? Boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Boys, get him out of here. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. Are you riding a horse in the water? We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Are you serious? Come on. Over here, come on. These poor fucking horses, dude. That's gotta be some fucking work, dude. I don't know. Can horses actually swim? I feel like that's gotta be difficult for a horse. Turn the horses to my men. Well, Arthur, oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. <laughs> of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea, and it is one that will. <laughs> oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Oh. Something happened with Cole Modrisco? Oh, she found information on him. Oh, no, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction. Bro, he's just going off on fucking revenge. Revenge never ends well. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp. Check on the others. Touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. 